Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to touch upon something that is not very well understood. Sometimes we calculate the variance of a population and sometimes we calculate the variance of a sample of a population. So what's the difference and do we work it differently? And the answer is yes, there is a difference and yes, we do work it differently. So here, graphically, two examples. Let's say that we're dealing with just five numbers in a data set. That's the entire population. There aren't any more numbers. And we're trying to find the variance of this population. Well, this is how it's done. We first find the average, which in this case is six. We've seen this data set before. And then we find what we call the population variance. Now notice the symbol we use. We use the Greek letter sigma rather than S, squared. Now, we tend to interchange those freely and not always use them correctly. In some cases, people don't really realize the difference between the two, but technically we should use the sigma symbol because we're dealing with the entire population. And so we're calculating the variance the same way as before. We take the average value, which we found over here, and we use that in each one of the calculations. We take the difference between each of the five numbers, two minus six, 4 minus 6, the difference between the number and the average. So 2 minus 6 squared, 4 minus 6 squared, 6 minus 6 squared, 8 minus 6 squared, and 10 minus 6 squared. And we divide by the total number of numbers in our population. So we end up with 40 divided by 5 for a variance of 8. That's the same number we found in a previous video. But what if we have a large population and we don't want to use all of the numbers in our data set, so let's say we pick random numbers. Now, if we do that, it's very likely that the random numbers are fairly representative of the overall population, but not necessarily. So what we need to do is we need to account for that. So the number that we're going to calculate for the variance is going to end up being a little bit larger because the sample doesn't necessarily represent truly the whole population. So let's say that we pick five random numbers out of this population. Of course, it turns out they're the same five numbers that we had before. So again, the average is going to be six. But now how do we do the sample variance? How do we calculate that sample variance? Well, notice we use the symbol S for the sample variance. Notice that I used S before for the population variance. But again, we tend to interchange those and we don't pay a lot of attention to it. But to be exact, we tend to use the sigma symbol for the population and the S symbol for the variance. Now we understand that. As notice the only difference is in the denominator. The numerator looks exactly the same. We take the difference between each of the numbers in the sample and the average number. We square that difference and we add them all up. But now we divide by n minus 1. There's five numbers in our sample, but the denominator Five is we subtract one from the denominator and turn into a four. And notice that causes us to have a larger variance than what we calculated before. The larger variance just says, look, the sample may not accurately reflect what the population is, and therefore we just kind of move the numbers out just a little bit just to make sure that we have accounted for potentially a larger variance if we had taken more numbers from the population. Notice though, that if the numbers that we pull out of, the, out of the, the population is larger, let's say we pull 10 out or 20 or 100 or 1,000 numbers, well, 1,000 minus 1 is 999, that's going to be almost the same result as if we had put 1,000 in the denominator. So the more numbers we pull out of the population as a sample, the less effect is going to have in our final calculation for the variance and then if we pick a lot of them we pull a lot of numbers out of our population the difference between doing the whole population versus the sample well the variances will be very close together and that is how it's done